Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, in today's session, we'll be talking about logic gates with more than two inputs. Uh, we did uh, this cover uh, those um, major gates, uh, which starts with AND. We did talk about OR gate, NOR gate, NAND gate, uh, exclusively OR gate and exclusively NOR gate. Uh, we did cover all these six gates in a basic manner. So and we pretty much cover the two inputs uh, logic gates with a truth table so in today's session we'll be covering what if we have a in three inputs for instance if we have input input a input b and input c so how will we deal with that yeah, if it is AND gate, we will, someone will say we'll have like, for example, that's my AND gate. You'll have input A, input B, and input C here, which is nothing wrong with it. So we will have output Y. But uh, and same, the same goes for the OR gate. So input A, input B, and input C. So we got output Y. So the since we have three inputs, the the truth table will have an eight combination. Its AND gate will be only on when A, B, and C are all on. So that will be on. And OR gate in OR gate will be only on when one of these inputs are on, or two are on, or three are, or all of the inputs inputs are on. Just to give you guys a brief review, let's uh, let's draw a truth table. It'll be Y, will be A input A input B and input C. If they're all off, the output will be off. If it any of the input is on, the output will be on. If two of the inputs are on, the output will be on. If more than two, or if all are on, the output will be on. So that is how it goes. One one zero. The output is still on. It'll be one one one. So it will be on. So that will tell me the the OR gate. The only condition it's not on when all the inputs are off or when all the switches are off. If any of these switches are on, the output will be on or it will be logically logic true or it will be logic one okay the question the main question arise here if you don't have a three input and gate or three input or gates how we deal with it because if the company only or the the lab we are working only offer the two input gates so there's nothing to worry about it we can build three input from using two input gates so let's say, for example, we have an input uh, building building three inputs three input gate logic gate. Let's say logic gate using two three input and logic gate let's say and make it and logic gate using through with using two and logic gates so how will that work let's see <coughs> we said uh, pretty much this is for example the and gate input a input b input c a b and c so this is my output if you have one uh, gate logic gate with three input that will be and three we call it and three will mean like and gate with three inputs but if we don't have this one if we don't have it we can make this gate using two uh, using two logic gates uh, two and gates so how will that work we can make one three input gate using two input uh input and gate so uh, use two and 
two and two okay so how will we do that so let's draw a couple gates and put a and put b goes to this one and gate the output of this gate which we'll call it y is one for example we will have a now we need a since this is only a logic gate with two input and two now we need one another gate logic uh, and gate and two to create this uh, condition true because we need all three inputs to be on in order to have this output on so let's draw one more and and gate so this y1 is this ands gate let's call that y and that's my input c so output of a and b and output of n2 which is y1 is going to be input of this n2 let's call this gate 1 let's call this gate 2 get logic gate 2 or n2 and get 2 <coughs> so output of this gate 1 will be the input of n gate 2 and the c is already there so we got c input c coming in there so for in order to have this input on we have to have a and b both switches turn on or the input should be high or we can say logically one logic one so then that we will have this output true when we have this output true this will be one and we have input c on turn on one so we will get what output which is y will turn on that's how we build them a logic gate using uh, more than uh, logic gates using two uh, two inputs gates to make it more than two inputs okay so this question here um, that boolean expression for that will be y is the output y is equal to a or b or c or d if somebody tell us to make this uh, this thing possible because we don't have one logic gate one or four logic gate there will be or four or logic with four inputs we don't have that so they tell us like okay we have two input gates can you just make that happen and build that circuit uh, yes we can do that we will use two uh, or gates actually we will use three or gates to make that happen so let's uh, move we move along here so input a and b okay that's input a and b going to be ORed with each other there'll be let's call that y2 and output y2 so we use or 2 i'll say like gate 1 just use g1 here now I'll use the input C and D here in OR number or gate number also two. I mean OR two will be gate number two. Um, better drawing. So it'll be C and D. Let's call that Y1. Now we got four input, but we need to combine them. So this is gate two now we need third gate to make that happen so let's just draw this thing third gate and there we go so we use three or gate three or two gate to make a four input or gate and that will be our y output y so why so the first to start up with we have input a and b or with the, each other we got output y2 input c and d got or with each other and we got y1 and y1 and y2 y2 and y1 are going into or also gate like let's call that gate three 
logic gate 3 lg let's call it logic gate 3 so nobody can confuse <coughs> and that will be their inputs uh, input y2 and input y1 goes into this gate and give me output y if any of these inputs are on the output y will be on or high and that's what that was pretty much how we make these logic gates using more than to uh, using make logic gates with more than two inputs using only two input logic gates hope that was helpful please stick around we will uh, take this course to a great extension uh, we'll learn we'll try to discover some circuits and thanks for watching take care guys